focusing now in the Storm Tractor Center with your Monday forecast. Yeah, good morning, Linda. And what we're seeing out there for today, the big concern is the strong winds across our region, and this is going to continue into Tuesday as well. We're staying very warm today, not quite as warm, but still above average tomorrow and Wednesday, and then we'll see a drop in temperatures and potential for some wet weather returning late this week in your forecast. Now today, right now, we have a wind advisory in effect for the valley, a high wind warning in effect for portions of the Sierra and Southern Cascades, and this is going to continue through 7 p.m. Tuesday. So the wind advisory areas of the valley and foothills gusts up to around 55 miles an hour, although some canyons are seeing much stronger winds than that this morning. Jarbo Gap, the peak gust since midnight, 77 miles an hour. That was between around 430 to 5 a.m. this morning. Meanwhile, we are seeing gusts in the 55 to 80 mile an hour range in portions of the mountains. This is again through tomorrow at 7 p.m. after that winds expected to slack. Now, due to the strong winds, that downflow, we are seeing temperatures very warm in the valley this morning, 50s to low 60s, mostly 50s in the foothills, 20s to 30s in most mountain areas early on today. Sustained winds still up to around 16 miles an hour out of the north in Redding and Red Bluff. Not quite as strong in Butte County for the valley at the moment. And the strongest winds for the valley will be along I-5 today, while the strongest gusts in the mountains mostly stay in the upper foothills and canyon areas. So you can see those gusts ranging from around 29 to around 40 miles an hour out of the north today. Some valley areas may see them even stronger than that. We'll see winds slacking a little bit tonight and then resurging as we head through your Tuesday forecast. Finally, by Tuesday evening, that's when those winds start to diminish. But again, those areas you saw shaded in purple, that's where potential is there for gusts upwards of 40 miles an hour. Satellite and radar. Skies are clear this morning. We've got low pressure dropping down the backside of Northern California right now. That's going to continue to result in those gusty winds out of the north as it interacts with that high pressure off the coast. And as we move forward, that low pressure finally exiting off to our east by Wednesday. That cuts off those gusty winds, but then we have low pressure dropping down into our region, bringing a chance for mostly mountain showers on Friday. We're dry for Saturday and then another round of wet weather Sunday into Monday of your extended forecast. That's the great news. Temperatures this afternoon still very warm. 70s in most valley areas, 60s in most foothill areas, and 40s to 50s in most mountain areas this afternoon. And ahead in your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Still warm Tuesday and Wednesday, but not as warm as today. Winds finally diminish Tuesday night into early Wednesday. We'll stay mostly dry Thursday with that chance for mainly light mountain showers, but Valley showers likely Friday, dry on Saturday, and then another round of showers Sunday into Monday of your extended forecast and temperatures, Linda, much cooler Friday through this weekend. All right, thank you.